While Hurricane Milton is battering Florida's Gulf Coast tonight, millions of people on Florida's Atlantic Coast are also in for a rough night and a rough day tomorrow. CBS's Tom Hansen is in Daytona Beach. Good evening, Tom. Nora, good evening. Take a look behind me. You can see these strong waves, powerful winds. We are some 200 miles away from the storm, but we are certainly already feeling the impacts, which have prompted officials to issue mandatory evacuations here. But not everyone is heeding those warnings. We've been here since 2015. Jeff Hurd and Alice Gibson moved to this apartment in Holly Hill to be closer to the beach, the 21st floor of a luxury high rise. A lot of flooding, Holly Hill gets flooded. And as Hurricane Milton creeps closer, they're staying put. If you have the plan, then you know, it helps. The couple has lived in the area for 36 years, riding out every storm, including Hurricane Ian in 2022. From their balcony window, they watched the storm surge rise. The same three to five foot surge is expected here tomorrow by noon. After Ian, it was days before electricity and water were restored. Flooding isn't their concern, but high winds are. All the glass surrounding their apartment may not withstand hurricane force winds. If something were, ha were to happen, that we would, the windows would blow out, and that would be the biggest thing, if the windows blowed out. The apartment complex has already warned residents they may shut off elevator access if the storm surge becomes too high. The stairs would be the only way out. We have our f cell phones charged fully. Yeah. We have flashlights, we have water, we have food, and we're retired, so we really don't have to go anywhere. And there's no promise that first responders will come for them if things become too dangerous. When you make a decision to stay during a storm, mm. I'm not stranded. I made a decision to stay here. And while Jeff and Alice tell us that they are not particularly concerned about flooding, given the fact they live on the 21st floor, officials are warning that storm surge could wash out roads in evacuation zones. Nora. Tom Hansen, thank you so much.